Hey, what's going on guys? So today I want to show you the results of test that I, that I did recently where I did run 20 blueprints and 17 of them were replica blueprints and 3 gems all of them item level 81 and I did run them for around 6 hours so in terms of blueprints I wasn't really focusing on any specific blueprint it's just when I was buying them I went to the TFT discord and I just searched the recent blueprints that people posted and most of them were replicas some of them were gems so I just bought these ones and in terms of the build I was using my lightning arrow build which to be honest is not the best for blueprints I don't really have that much life and I am running pretty slow so it wasn't that great but I am dealing mostly cold damage so I actually was uh, freezing everything so I didn't take that much damage uh, so the way I was running them is I was rolling them rare with just an alchemy orb and after that I was just looking at the alert level reduction and I was going for at least 20 and after that I was looking for at the mods and I was re-rolling anything that contained minus maximum resistance and also the one that says that lockdown occurs immediately when alert level is full just because I didn't uh, want to run it in terms of other uh, modifiers I also wasn't looking at the amount of wings revealed so you can have three or four wings revealed when item level is at least 80 so I just had some of them four some of them three I really wasn't looking at it and also you can look at the rewards so for example this one has six divination three fossil one currency and so on so I also was just buying random ones so it depends on you what do you want to focus on I just uh, was buying a random blueprints with item level 81 plus and I just ended up with mostly replica blueprints okay so after I rolled my blueprint uh, rare I went to Wakano and then I just revealed my blueprints so for revealing I was using mostly Gianna reveals I'm gonna talk about that in a second and I was using them for the big reveals so when I was revealing the wings so when you look at them this one cost 2100 uh, coins and this one cost 1900 and if I reveal one of them the other one becomes more expensive so revealing of uh, wings is very expensive but when you are revealing the rooms it's not that expensive so I was using the Wakano reveals for them and the rooms that I was revealing were currency harbinger divination and when I noticed that one wing for example this one didn't have that many good rewards like harbinger currency and divination I also was revealing catalyst fragment and sometimes blight so for example in this one here I would only reveal this one here currency currency harbinger and divination card I would not reveal the blight because this one already has a lot of good rooms if for example blight was here I probably would reveal it because I would be able to go for all three of the rooms so for the contracts mm, as I said I was using Gianna and Wakano so when you are running the uh, contracts for the reveals I was using the counter thermaturgy because this way I was able to Hello. use the Gianna so here I was using her 
And thanks to that, I was getting... At the same time, when you are running the Gianna blueprints, you can... You will be getting both Wakano and Gianna. So you get, get double the amount of uh, reveals and also Gianna will be 45% cheaper. And also when you go here, uh, this tooltip is bugged. It says it's 35%, but it's actually 45%. So the way I got 45% is thanks to this item. So it gives you one to level of all jobs. So as you can see here, it's increased by one by 5% and also it will increase the level of counter thaumaturgy from level 3 to level 4. So I'm able to run level 4 contracts. So I'm still not, ab not able to run level 5, but that covers most of them. For the other uh, gear, I was using brooches for chance to duplicate contained basic currency. That's the most important one. And for the cloak, reduce raising of alert level from opening chest. So when you look at my other members, I only have these two items with just brooches and uh, cloaks just for alert level and for chance to duplicate currency. So these are just for running contracts, I mean for running blueprints and Jayana is for running contracts. So that's why I also want at plus one level. So my setup is not even perfect. You can definitely get a better one and make even better profit. And for the trinket, I am using 3% chance that the regal orbs will drop as the exalted orb. So you can run a lot of different ones. There is one that gives you more fusing orbs and so on. So it doesn't really matter that much as long as you have one that is pretty good one, it's fine. Mm. So now let me show you how I was running the blueprints. So again, I first I revealed the wings and the rooms that I uh, wanted and then you run to the planning room and you confirm your members. So the members that I was focusing on were the Vindiri, so this one, and then the ones that give you some kind of alert level reduction. So this one, this one is 40%, I believe, but if you don't have any other choice, just go for whatever. So this one will give you one magical chest, which is decent. Here, none of them are nice, so I will go just for Isla. And here 20% reduce alert level. Here again 20% reduce alert level. One chest and that's pretty much it. So I will just go for Jayana just so I have three different ones. So I do believe if you have uh, different ones then all of their, their items will count for the alert reduction and so on. When you have one of them twice you will not get it doubled. I'm not sure for that. If someone knows better, please let me know in the comments. Here again, 20% reduce alert level, Vindiri, for chance to get double rewards. And Karst for 40% reduce alert level. Last one, 20% Vindiri and one chest. And that's it. Just confirm your blueprint and you can run it. So in terms of pricing, the blueprint, most of them, the gems cost between 20 to 25 C. Replicas and trinkets cost anywhere between 15 to 20 C. And enchants cost around like 5 to 10 C. So they are very cheap. But most of the uh, investment actually comes from the rogue markers. If you notice here, the... Reveals cost like 4,000 even markers. This is why I am using Jayana. So this way it's still like 2k here, 2k here. So that would be 4k. Every single room with Wakano would be around 1,000. So you spend like tens of thousand markers to be able to reveal all of your 
uh, blueprints and 250 60 uh, markers is 1 C so every 2.5 K you pay 10 C and sometimes to reveal one blueprint you have to spend like 20,000 markers if you have a lot of good rewards so even up to 100 chaos so compared to when you compare the price of just blueprints and then price of the markers you have to spend to reveal them this price is not really that important when you have to spend 25 chaos for gems Hello. so now let's go in and also you have to pay some fee to be able to enter the blueprint so the way i run them is i just go to first wing Here's some monsters on the way and then mostly focus on the rewards rooms. So here I have the currency reward, so I will just run to that one. Now I will look for the other ones and there is only two other rooms that are pretty nice. So because of that I will also start opening the small chests. If there was more of them I would not open the chest. Generally you should be able to open like four rooms. Here is the second and the third one. So as you can see you get a lot of currency from the currency chests and also by the way the divination cards chest contain a lot of stacked decks and stacked decks are considered currency so you also are duplicating them so here i have some alert levels so i will just start uh, opening just any random chests just because i have some spare alert level so here from these chests sometimes you will get like 10 game cutters and you can also pick these up you can sell them to vendor for one game cutter but i don't really care about them so as you can see here i got six game cutter prism and it got duplicated so these chests are decent but not really worth revealing also i click saves and then at the end i look at the replicas so I run quite a lot of them, so I know most of them, how much they are worth, so I know this one is not worth anything. And these bases are also not really worth that much, and this one is the same one. So I didn't really get anything from here. Most of these items are worth like 5c, so I will actually not even pick any of them. And I will run back, and thanks to that, I will not have to deal with extra monsters and extra doors and so on. I will be able to run uh, back to the entrance faster and also I can open additional chests on the way. So I just got additional stack decks. So these stack decks are actually worth more than all of the rewards that were over there at the end. And now I will get the lockdown timer and I also can pick up some additional chests thanks to that timer so that's also the reason why i was re-rolling the mod that makes it so when you reach the full alert level the lockdown occurs immediately so then i would finish the second third and fourth wing and i'm not gonna show that right now because i want to make this video a bit shorter okay so now let's look at the results so I have a spreadsheet here. So these are all of my spending. So I did spend around 300,000 markers. I actually wasn't counting them correctly. So I am not sure if that number is correct, but it is around 300K for sure. It might be like 50K higher or lower. So it was 1,153 chaos if we count them 260 markers for one. And I was buying my unusual gems for 24C and replicas contracts for 18C. So total price was 1,531C, 1, 
and I also did need uh, 50 wing reveals and 136 uh, room reveals. And for the reveals, I was running the again, I was running the counter thermaturgy contracts with Jayana, and I was buying them for around 4 chaos. And just the markers you get from the room from the reward covers that cost. So you also make around like I would say 200, maybe even 300 chaos per hour when you are doing contracts. So this only counts the blueprints. So for the profits, I got 2600 currency. So here I can show you my currency chest. So all of that currency. And I think one exalt I got thanks to um, it being duplicated and three of them from the exalted shards. So mostly from the hard currency chests uh, thanks to the shards, I got three exalts and three exalts just from random drops. And I, I'm not sure how many of them I got thanks to the trinket that very goals drop us in exalts, but I got in total 45 regals, so it's around 1.5 exalts uh, came from this trinket. So maybe one, maybe two on average. You can never be really too sure. So for the random stuff, I just got some bunch bunch of scarabs, uh, essences, catalysts, fossils, fragments, and so on. Just any random things. Two uniques, which are worth like 10, 40 C. Also, I got quite a lot of decent replicas, I would say. All of them are worth anywhere any, are worth anywhere between 10 to 20 C. These bases are worth around 10 C and I got some gems and most of them are worth, are worth also between 10 to 20 C and I believe one of them is worth, yes, Divergent Arc is worth like 0 0.7 exalt. And I was actually lucky and I got Replica Shroud of Lightless which is worth 18 exalts. And I am not really sure how rare it is, but if you run a lot of uh, blueprints, eventually you should get some rare drops. So random stuff was an 885C and also I forgot about this stuff. So I got 900 stacked decks and some other random cards. And again, you get a lot of stacked decks thanks to the uh, duplicated brooches. So cards and stack decks, both of them together around 1.5k. Replicas without the Shout of the Lightless 257c and base 7cc. The alternate quality gems around 300c and Shout of the Lightless. So in total I got almost 9000 chaos. So profit minus uh, how much I did spend is around 7000 C so in exalts that's 45 exalts I did spend six hours so that's 7.5 exalts per hour profit which is actually really really good considering that this league there isn't really that many good ways to make a lot of currency so 7.5 exalts is quite a lot but here I also counted without shroud of the lightless so that would be 4.5 exalts so that's still pretty good profit and if you look at the PoE Ninja, you can see that there is Forbidden Shackle, which is 100 exalts, Pharos 4, Shroud of the Lightless, which are worth like 15 to 20 exalts. And also for the accessories, there is obviously the Replica Headhunter, which is like 10 exalts. Replica Baited Breath, I believe it's like Easter egg item, so you shouldn't really expect to get one of them. And when you are going to be running the gems, the unusual gems, you will get more consistent profit, I would say. Uh, like I showed you from the other replicas, I only made like 250 CN from base 7 CC, so it's not really that much. 
and when you are gonna be running the unusual gems you should be getting more consistent profit a lot of gems are worth like 20 10 c and some of them are worth worth anywhere between one to five exalts and they are not that uncommon i would say when you're gonna be running trinkets you should get just some random currency as the rewards like 10 c 10 fusing and so on so you also will be getting some decent consistent profit and you also can get some rare trinkets like for example if you get a trinket that converts chaos to exalts that one is worth 50 exalts so you still have potential to get something super rare and for enchanted armaments you will pretty much never get anything except for the tempering and tailoring orbs so from time to time you will get tailoring orb which is worth around one exalt and tempering orb which is 800 c which is like five six exalts so you are mostly relying on them but also they are much much cheaper so you are paying like 5c for enchanted armaments blueprint but still most of your profit as you can see here comes from just getting currency this is why getting the brooch and trinket is very important and just focusing on the rooms that provide you currency so again currency room harbinger and divination room because stack decks are considered um, currency so that's pretty much it mm. The way you, just to sum things up, the way you run it, you just buy a lot of contracts. I really like running Counter Tamatarji because I can run it with Jayana and they are pretty cheap, only like 4C. You can also run the uh, Deception. This way you don't have to focus only on level 4 and lower. You can also run level 5, but these are much more expensive. You pay like 10C maybe even 12c for them but also you get better rewards from the deception contracts so it's up to you which ones you want to run and after that you buy some blueprints it doesn't really matter which one you buy it's just what do you want to focus on then you reveal them using mostly Jayana for the expensive reveals and Wakano for the cheaper ones also if you want to you can also only use Jayana this way you save some uh, money on markers but you also will have to run more contracts then you choose correct members make sure you have them geared mostly just focusing on brooches and cloaks and then you just run them so that's gonna be it thanks for watching and see you next time